Here are some features that you could do with your Apple Watch paired with your iPhone. Because aside from having the now playing ability, the maps capability, there's much more that your Apple Watch can do with your iPhone. As one of my most favorite features is the freedom to unlock my Apple Watch from my iPhone. You see, yes, we do have the capability to unlock the pin on your Apple Watch from your iPhone and vice versa. But having it so that your Apple Watch unlocks your iPhone is extremely beneficial in situations whenever you're wearing sunglasses, a hat, or your face ID just isn't working. So if you wish to enable this, it's extremely easy. On your iPhone, you need to go to the settings app and then click on face ID and passcode, enter your pin code, and then scroll down to where you find unlock with the Apple Watch. And now, whenever Face ID isn't working and you're wearing your Apple Watch, your Apple Watch will be the one unlocking your smartphone, allowing you to have a quick access even if you're wearing sunglasses or something that just doesn't work with Face ID. Now, when receiving an incoming call, one of the most forgotten or unknown feature is the fact that we all have those situations. You know, you receive an incoming call, your phone is somewhere else in the household, and you have your hands full, and you really don't want to pick up a professional phone call and talk to them out of your Apple Watch and then tell them to hold on for a little bit. Let me go grab my iPhone. Well, what you can do is actually answer the phone call, but put them on hold on your iPhone. This way, they don't have to wait for the ringer and you don't have to run to grab your iPhone. And then by the time you grab your iPhone, they are already left in the voicemail. So yeah, this is an amazing method for you don't lose those important phone calls. Just answer and hold, go to your iPhone, and then pick up when you have the chance to. And then, as a little quick added bonus, you could also return the phone call from your iPhone back to the Apple Watch. As it's super easy to do so, I'm really happy that Apple allows us to switch the phone call from one device to the other repeatedly. But if you are receiving an incoming call from an annoying person, but you don't want to just hang up on them, so it immediately takes them a voicemail, and makes it seem like you know who was calling and you know you don't want them to feel bad that you just had declined them, cover your Apple Watch will actually allow that phone call to quickly go on silent on both your devices. This way they don't feel like they've just been rudely like hung up or hang up. Correct me in the comment section. I'm having a hard time thinking about it for some reason. But this way they're still calling you, but your devices are not ringing. So when you have a chance, you could decide to pick up or just let it go to voicemail without disturbing you. And if you don't see this cover to mute capability, you'll find it on your Apple Watch settings. Go into the gesture section where it says cover to mute, enable this. And then that should be guaranteed to work. Now, if you're replying to a text message on your Apple Watch, but you want to quickly continue where you last left off on the Apple Watch, if you realize it's going to be a long sentence to type up, you do have handoff mode, which you can enable by simply just launching multitask on your iPhone. And you'll see Apple Watch handoff icon right, right down here where you could click on it and it'll quickly take you to the exact message that you were replying to. You could do the exact same thing on your iPhone to your Apple Watch. And if you don't see handoff mode, it may be turned off. So to enable this, you need to go in your iPhone settings and go into the general tab and then in AirPlay and handoff, that is where you go in and make sure that it is indeed enabled. Apple TV controls. So aside from your iPhone, your Apple Watch could also control and command other devices, mainly the Apple TV. If you use the Apple remote on the Apple Watch, you do have the capability to control your Apple TV all off this display. But you may find out that if you have a smart TV that compatible, you probably be able to control those as well. As two of my TVs work, my LG OLED is compatible as a remote and even my Sony Bravo. So highly recommend experimenting and see what device works for you even if you don't own an Apple TV. You can even turn it off from here as well. Now, one of the most forgotten ones or ones that I'm still surprised that a lot of people are not familiar with is in Control Center, you know, you could pin your device to locate your device, right? You, if you misplace your iPhone, you could play a pin sound to locate it. That should basically be well known by now, right? 
But if you long press, you can actually toggle the flash on your camera icon to help locate it faster. So if this is like in a dark place, the LED will illuminate and allowing you to locate it faster. But a feature that was recently silently added is the capability to also do this ability on your iPhone and locate your Apple Watch. So in case you lost it somewhere in the shower or you're undressing and you forgot it somewhere, you could actually use your iPhone to pin your, app, your Apple Watch as well. And so to set this up, you need to go on your iPhone settings and in the control center tab, this is what you want to add here. And of course you have the freedom to rearrange it. So now by bringing down control center, you'll be able to see it right here. And real quick, if you're wondering how, why my find my ability will actually give me like air tag capability to actually locate it by feet with an arrow pointing. This only works with the series nine as well as the ultra second generation and the latest iPhone 15s and newer all due to the fact that they both have this chip that allows these two devices to communicate with one another. So if you're wondering why that works on me, it's because of that in case you're wondering. But now let's say for example, this is a real world situation. So a couple of years ago, one of my friends dropped his iPhone. It fell on a rock. He was one wheeling and his phone hit a rock, scattered the display. The screen was viewable, but the touch screen wasn't responsive. But thanks to this hidden feature, you could actually use your Apple Watch to control your iPhone in case your screen is non-responsive. So to find this ability, you will need to go into your Apple Watch settings and go into accessibilities, and scroll down where it says control devices. So long as you're nearby, you'll be able to control your iPhone all off the Apple Watch remotely. That's a clever way to override it. Now, aside from, you know, the turn by turn navigation for maps, we already know how this works. Set a direction on your Apple Watch or your iPhone as you're walking towards the direction. As soon as you're about to make a turn, your Apple Watch will tap you, giving you a heads up, like, hey, turn's coming by, make a right or a left. That should already be generally familiar. But a feature that's overlooked I think it's overlooked all the time is the Keynote app. If you do a lot of presentations using Apple's Keynote, whenever you launch a Keynote from your Mac, you can actually control it off the Apple Watch. That is a little cool tip right there that a lot of people tend to overlook and just forget and they resort in buying third party clickers to present their presentation. You can actually control it off the Apple Watch. But other than that, there you guys have it. Those are some cool features and uh, some less known features I will say about what these two powerful devices can do. And real quick, even though I am using an Apple Watch Ultra second generation, so long as your device, most of your devices are on the latest version of iOS, as well as watchOS, you're able to do this on the Series 7, SE, SE2, and etc. So there's no compatibility issues whatsoever. I just use the Ultra to just for the larger display. It makes it easier for you guys to see on camera. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy, you know, hit that like button, get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. But if you wish to know more on uh, more cool things that the Apple Watch can do by itself this time, check out this video over here where I go through my favorite secrets about the Apple Watch that you need to enable because Apple has it off by default for some reason. So definitely go in this video, make sure you have all these cool features enabled. Thanks so much for watching.